today we'll see that how to use uh, how to deploy your angular application with the node.js using elastic beanstalk okay let's go into that okay first we'll go here okay okay so there is an application called event management app angular so i have uh, downloaded this so I have downloaded this uh, zip file which I have downloaded. Okay, let me extract it. Extract all. So before that, I'll just let you do that. What are the things that you return? So one is you have to install Node.js and the other one is Angular CLI uh, command line interface you need to install uh, before starting this. Okay, so we have uh, extracted this. So first we are going to in this folder. I'm going to install uh, Node Package Manager. So that will take a few seconds. So meanwhile, we will log into that uh, Elastic Beanstalk and try things already. So Elastic Beanstalk. So create application. So application name is event. So choose platform, no changes. So I'm going to upload the code which I generate over here. Okay. So let it be ready. Okay. So now what are we have? Okay, so it is done. So it's done. So now let me click this MGB. So whenever you create a build, right? So MG. So whenever you do build, right? You can see uh, this folder over here. So currently, it will be and the src folder only there so whenever you do uh, installation right uh, uh, npm install you np uh, node modules will install so after uh, uh, this one uh, build is uh, done right so once build is done you can see here uh, well, this folder also will be created So this will also take a couple of seconds. Okay, so that so let me refresh that. Okay, this folder will be created. Okay, so good. So now I'm going to create a one more folder to create node no node application. Okay, so my my node app. Okay, so here, what I'm going to do is inside that. Okay, inside that. package mm -hmm. manager in it. So it will ask you the package need to be version legend. Okay, description test data. Stop. Sorry, apologies that I mean stop is spelling is incorrect. Server.js. So entry point should be server.js, not index.js. Okay. And then the rest of the things all fine. Is this okay? Yes. I have created that. Now you can see the package is created over here. So if you go inside the package, you can see the server.js is the name. Okay, that's fine. So next thing is I'm going to install one more thing. That is, so before that, let me create one more uh, uh, file name, which is server.js. Server.js all file. Where is okay. 
servo term js servo term js so created that okay fine so now i'm going to install express okay so i'm going to install express for this okay let me install express npm install Yes, so I'm going to install one more thing. Okay, so that is also installed. So now what is next is I'm going to copy the disk folder into the my folder. Okay. So so it's almost all done. So now what I'm going to do is inside this uh, server.js, I'm going to put a one more code snippet, which is nothing but it will tell you that. So what is the uh, uh, starting point and uh, what is the directory name and what exactly it needs to look in when it calls the uh, root uh, page, okay? So here your app folder is right. So nothing, your app folder is nothing but this one. So you just go inside. Okay, it is a okay. This is the uh, folder name. So just paste it here. Over a folder, paste it here. Now I'm going to copy all the things. Paste it in the server of JS. So that's it. Save that. So now let me see that our all the things are done. No server.js. If I do that, you can see server started at 3000. Okay. So we are good to stop that. Let me go into that. See local host 3000. Okay. So this is the one. So create event if you click. Okay. So good. As of now, everything is good. So now I'm going to uh, deploy this into Elastic bit start. So, what are the things which I need? So, this folder node modules is not required, so which will be installed. So, three things you need to copy one is a disk package or JSON and then server. So, just compress zip file. So, calendar management app or something management app. So, not, not a problem. So, now I'm going to upload this. Fine, okay. So choose file. Yes, management tab. Okay. So now I'm going to create an application. Okay, so this will take quite a few seconds, probably it will take another uh, two to three minutes. So let it create that. So before that, what else is so? So let me uh, do one more thing. So this elastic beanstalk is there, right? So elastic beanstalk, you are got generated. So if you open it now, it will not open. Okay, it will take up quite a few seconds. But so if you look at this one, you can see that your connection to the security site is not secure. That means that it is HTTP. So we need to work it on HTTPS, right? So how to achieve that? So uh, let it run uh, this one. It, it will take uh, uh, quite a few seconds. Let me see that what is the current state. Okay. So let it should come as health as okay so by this time we'll go into the one more thing so we are going to here so one more thing what i'm going to do is around 53 so now let us go to the cloud uh, distribution what is called cd and content delivery to cloud front yes cloud front okay So, cloud front distribution I'm going to create. 
So what I'm going to do, so here the URL which we are getting here, right? So if you click here, so I guess it's back, isn't it? So it looks like the doll all fine. So health is still pending. Applications. Environments. So can the health is health is here. So is it okay? So still it is looking. Still it is looking okay. Fine. So meanwhile. Okay, sorry, not this one. You are, this is a terminated URL. Uh, so uh, for this one, you are need to generate. So, okay, so even uh, uh, this one has come. Okay, the URL has come. So still the health status is pending. So that's why it is not pending. So meanwhile, I'll, I'll create that uh, the another one. Okay, so it went manager. Okay, so it is back. So let me refresh this page okay so it is back so we are able to see here as i said that it is not secure so we need it in https right so i'm going here cloud fan so i'm going to copy this here okay okay so see health status is okay so if you go here, you can see here. Applications. Developments. Okay, so here. So I'm going to see that health, health status is okay. See health status is okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL. Copy this URL. So we need it in HTTPS, right? So I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to paste it here. And then, so what is the thing which we need? One more is so we know. So free norm site, which we have. We are going to use this one. Okay, so this is the site which I have registered through um, free now. So how to register is I'll give this uh, description. I'll give this link in the description. So if you wanted to use that, okay. So before that, I'm going to um, use this one. Okay, manage domain. So take AWS. Okay. So, um, okay. so where is this cloud distribution? So here, yeah. okay. So cloud, cloud front, okay. So here we have the one. So we are going to, as usual, we are going to do three things. One is redirect HTTP to HTTPS. One more thing is that is C name. C name, wherever C name is there, you just put your 
domain name and then finally custom certificate okay so create distribution okay so fine it will deploy okay so it will deploy so final thing is in the free now so route 53 will go three so here we are almost done so to once if this has been deployed then we are good to go so it is deploying still so route 53 we are going to create host zone Take the resource this purpose so create hosted zone. So, whenever the hosted zone is created, you can see four M servers. We are going to use this. Free now, where is free now? So here management tools name service. So we are going to change it here. First one, end one, world one, world one, and then final one. So now change in services and so good to go. So we are good. So what about this cloud front? So cloud front still deploying. So this value this one. So once route 53 is done, so we are going to go on that. Cloud trend distribution. Choose distribution of this menu. Whatever is created, simple out. Okay, so now the cloud trend distribution is done. Let me check. Okay. So okay, let it deploy. I'll pause the video till that moment. See, now it is lost modified and has come. So now I am going to open this one. See, this is the okay. See, so cloud front distribution is done. So we are able to successfully add this one. But this is not what actually we wanted. So even though it is HTTPS, we can use. So even though we have used the HTTPS side, but whatever we are going to use, whatever the registered domain, which we are going to use. So that's, we are going to try. Okay, fine. Right. So we are going to do that. So that's it. So just a recap. So first of all, what we did, we did is we have taken the projects from uh, GitHub and we have uh, built it and so that the dist folder is uh, created and then we have created our node project and uh, with that we have created a server.js file and this folder which we copy and the entry point for uh, packages server.js and we have uh, installed the express and then we have put a small code of code snippet uh, uh, if the url is called then where we exactly need to route so that port portion is has given in server.js and then finally we zipped it, uh, package file, this folder and server.js, we zipped it and we uh, uploaded in the Elastic Beanstalk. And finally, we are able to successfully uh, launch that, but it is a HTTP, not HTTPS. So what we did is we have added a cloud front distribution on route 53 with the help of those two, we are able to achieve that, whatever the registered domain which we are 
so through that we have able to uh, successfully launch our application okay so that's the end of the session thank you